In this video, we are going to talk about uh, groups. Okay, what are the groups in Linux operating system? So basically, as the name suggests, uh, you can think like a group as a like a group of some kind of users, group of politicians, group of actors. As this, the name suggests. But in in Linux, uh, we can create different kind of groups. Uh, like uh, we can create separate groups for developer, for pen for, for pen tester, uh, different groups, and for marketing team, different groups. So basically, this is the basically mostly the use of groups. Like we can create different groups for different teams, and we we can provide them the like different permissions according to their role. So the, uh, there is a basic simple command in Linux like group add. Okay, using this command, we can basically. Uh, create groups in our operating system and I hope this is visible to you let me increase the size first uh, no, it's too large let me do this yeah now it's fine so how you can do it uh, the one command which I told you right now it's group add and what you have to do you have to just provide the name of the group which you want so uh, I will name it as a like uh, developers okay so here you can see it is showing permission denied so one thing here also is like uh, the group count group add command is uh, or can be only performed by those users uh, whether they are root or whether they have a certain permission of root permission or you can say whether they are in the sudoers file okay so in that file if any user in that particular file so they can easily uh, use this particular uh, feature of sudo command okay so I am in that file like this user that I you show what I will do I will just add sudo and it will ask me to enter the password done and we are done here you are not uh, uh, getting any kind of uh, output or something but let me tell you one thing like uh, when you create this uh, uh, or when you add this group add a command or you add or different groups so at that time what happens there are the two files which gets affected when you hit this particular command one is uh, one is group which are located in the slash etc directory and the one another is slash etc g shadow okay so I will show you the con content of uh, group file okay like in shadow file uh, it, it basically contains the like when you create a group with password uh, like they are not much required because uh, like if there are multiple users then like uh, your password will get uh, like compromise you can think of, of it okay so uh, these are the two files which get affected when you whenever you create a group okay so let me show you the content of first cat slash etc like group file and here you can see, see there are the multiple groups here okay there are multiple groups the first group it may be root okay here, this is the root and these are the some system users and here in the last video we had covered about virat 2 3 4 so whenever you add a new user then the separate groups is also created okay so right now what we have added we have added developers okay so developers is one of the group and x is for password and this is the group id okay so let me show you the detailed information about this particular file so that will be more clear for you guys okay so in this picture you can see like cd rom x uh, 24 and this will be a student one these are the users uh, uh, but in our case users are not visible why because we have not still added users in our group so we will do this in our, our next video okay so in this particular video we will only create groups like we will see different options how you can do it and here you can see the like uh, detailed information about that particular file so here you can see cd room cd room is what just the name of your group like here you can see one indicates the group name like it is the name of the group if you run ls and this command you will see okay and then this is for password which we have not provided this is the gid that is the group id and the group list like uh, who are the users present in this particular group i hope that is clear to you okay so now what I will do, uh, I will try to create a group with uh, some another GID. Okay. 
so for this uh, we can use the only one option is the, that is hyphen g option which will help you to create uh, like um, group with different GID okay so but before that I want to uh, I want to show you one more option that is hyphen F option what it does sorry basically uh, when you want to create a group with the same name then let's see what happens okay so I'm going to enter the same command again let's see what happens here you can see group developer already exist but what if you want to like if you don't want to see this error message or you want to forcefully create that particular like developer group so in this case you can use which option you can use just hyphen f option hyphen f just stands for forcefully okay or you can say force so in this case what will happen i will hit enter and here again you can see same developer 1502 okay so now in this case now what i will do uh, uh, wait a minute why my screen is not okay okay so now what uh, i will do i will try to create a group with some different gid okay so how you can do it uh, for this we have a hyphen g option group add and still i will use hyphen f option because i don't want to create some other groups i would just want to work on this particular developers group hyphen f then i will use hyphen g and i will provide this 2000 let's provide it 2022 and the name is still remains same that is developers and uh, i have not added sudo it's more important with the help of sudo you can perform anything in linux <laughs> just hit enter and then again we will see the content and here you can see okay it uh, our gid not added here okay let me check we have entered correct command or not Oh uh, yeah, there is a hyphen G option is correct. Uh, okay. Let's try to create different group testers. Okay. So uh, what happened? Uh, like uh, when we were, we were using hyphen F option, then in that case we cannot change this uh, GID but uh, with other uh, when you will create new group then you can uh, change like uh, this GID like you can create your uh, you you can create like a group with your own GID okay so like in this way you like you learn something new like you can't do like that if someone asks you to perform the same thing then you can easily say no it is not possible to change this GID using hyphen F option so uh, now what I will do uh, there is also one command that we can use like uh, like for getting the list of users what I'm typing I'm typing this cache slash etc slash group okay but instead instead of this we can use the uh, one command that is g tent and uh, then group And here you will get get the list of all the groups which is present in our system okay and to delete the groups you can easily uh, delete it using the group del command that is very simple that is what I will do group del and I will just uh, pass the name of the group which you want to delete I want to delete testers and hit enter again permission denied why because we have not used sudo let's use sudo and done again get list of uh, that get list where it is okay so here you can see tester has been removed so i hope you guys like learn about how we can add groups uh, in our linux system and but in our further video we will see like how we can add users in particular different groups like there is also a separate command for this task that is a user mod or you can say user modification also like there are many uh, properties of this particular command we will learn all about this in the, our next video okay so that's all for it and we'll meet in the next video so thank you thank you for watching and we'll meet in the next one thank you